Hi everyone, Chris Tuck here, Westwick and Health and Fitness. So we've literally just done early risers and we did a pyramid which involved cardio and weight strength work. And we did one weight workout today. So we really challenged the other side of the body as we use the weight in the other hand, the other side of the body. So again, in all of the workouts, we aim to work top to toe. We aim to work mobility, um, strength, and some stretch, pre-stretch, post-stretch. So we do everything. And my um, level of ability is beginners, improvers, and those that just want to maintain their fitness um, by having different workouts and different challenges throughout the month that they join in with my membership. But today I'm jumping on again about this little ball here. It's, I call it, it's a Pilates stimulating prickle ball. Now I get mine from Amazon, um, uh, who sell them in twos, so a yellow one and a red one, and they're not too hard, they're quite soft, but it still does the work. Now, some of you may not know, but I've actually had two hip replacements. So, where they cut into my hip, I've got lots of scar tissue, and I had a lot of weakness until I built the strength up in the muscles again and got those muscles working. However, if I do too much work on that muscle group, my glute med tightens up, it over tightens, and then it affects my hip mobility and it affects my glute and it has um, given me pain all the way down the side of my leg in the past. So what do I do to combat that? One, I have weekly massage as part of my self-care program, but also I've got a massage gun that I use and I also use this prickle ball. Cheap and cheerful. Yeah. Sometimes I have to release off my muscles before my workout and sometimes after. So what do I do with this? So I'm just going to bring myself down to my step. I'm literally going to park the prickle ball underneath my buttock, my left buttock. I'm going to move forwards and back, side to side, and I'm going to circle. So I work in three planes of motion, forwards and back, side to side, and I circle, and I'm aiming to find what I call a hot spot or a tight spot. And what I do, I then lean into that hot spot, tight spot, all of my body weight, and the ball and the body weight, the compression combined, will help to start release that knot or that tight spot. So I'm just relaxing into the ball. Sometimes it can be very, very painful. So you need to breathe through this. So breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, and all mouth. Do that as many times as you need to. But if you're short on time, do it at least three times and then start working forwards and back again, side to side, circle and find another hot spot. So this one is really, really deep and as you can see I'm sitting more upright this time. I'm going to breathe. And you can literally feel the muscle soften and release. So just stay here for as long as you like, keep doing your deep breathing, but also you can add a bit of movement through the leg if you want to. So you sit on the ball, all of your body weight, and then you can point your toes, you can circle, you can move your leg up and down, side to side, whatever you need to do to get deep into that muscle and get those muscles to release. Now, if sitting on a chair or a step, you don't feel it, come down to the floor and you may need to go 
at an angle to get into those tight spots. So I'm just concentrating on my buttock area, my glute meat area at the moment, but I'm now going more in towards my hip, top of my buttock, to the side, because I know that this is where my tight spot is. And again, the aim is to get these muscles to release and relax. So sometimes, as I said, I do this prep work before I do a workout, or like now, I'm lovely and warm, and I do it after the workout. So you can see I've gone from sitting up to practically lying down, and my hot spot, I found a new one. Yeah, so this is trigger point in its real basic form. So we go forwards and back, over that tight area, side to side, and then circle. And over time, when you get to know your body, you will just probably choose one form of movement on that ball. Circling for me gets right into that tight spot. So I've gone from upright to lying, and then leaning and then coming all the way down towards the floor practically. So by treating all of your tight spots and releasing them by using your breath, you will be able to move better, you will be able to get a more effective and deeper workout than if you did not do this work. So just bear in mind that this trickle ball can be used on every single muscle in the body. So if you've got a tight calf, if you've got a tight lower back, if you've got a tight shoulder, wherever you've got a muscle, you can use this prickle ball. And because it's so small, it's more versatile than the foam roller. Just gonna check my other side whilst I'm chatting more versatile than the foam roller, okay? Again, just sit into it. Now, I use this prickle ball, as some of you may know, a lot in my Pilates class to release off and to strengthen the ankle. So, if we work on the foot and the ankle, releasing it, it has a positive impact on the rest of the kinetic chain. So if you have knee issues, hip issues, shoulder issues, neck issues, how mobile are your ankles? How flexible are you through your feet? Or are your ankles and your feet really tight and compressed? That's what I want you to ask yourself. Because if your ankles do not move as they should, it will have a pain impact up the rest of the body, up the rest of the kinetic chain. So, what you can do to help yourselves very cheaply is to spend £14 and get yourself a pair of these Pilates stimulating balls from the internet. Anyway, I hope that's helped you. So, just to finish up, after I've done that trigger point work, I'm just going to literally rub the muscle, okay? Thank you and get that blood flow back to the area. Now when you first do this, it might feel really alien and it might be painful, but the more you do it, the more your body will thank you for it. Hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below and I would love to hear your tips and tricks for releasing those tight muscles in your body. Thank you for joining me and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.